Ladies and gents, it's about that time for us to get involved with ChatGDP and this whole artificial intelligence. So in this video, we're going to start a very decent series in order to attract you guys to start using this platform. This is something that obviously has been very revolutionary since January of this year, 2023. And the reason why I've delayed and held myself back from jumping into this whole bandwagon of ChatGDP is because I wanted to see how it well formed into e-commerce. And now I have enough content in order to start educating you guys and explaining why this is so important and why we need to start getting up on this, okay? So without further ado, let's just jump right into it, okay? What is ChatGDP? ChatGPT Jet is a language-based model. And I'm not going to try to get all nerdy on you guys and be like, oh, you know, uh, with the algorithms and all this type of stuff. Look, plain English, right? This is what it is. Think of a database with a bank of words, okay? Just a plethora of words. Words are, according to the AI system, they're like numbers. They mean something. They have an attribute. Or think of it like every word means a code in computer language, the artificial intelligence, what they do is that they take these words and they put them together as if it were a math equation. When you speak, you use a certain amount of words in order to compose a sentence. So imagine if a computer were to look at that and they're not looking at it precisely by what a word means, but rather what it signifies in some type of code. Once it understands an equation, in other words, a sentence, then it gets fed information to understand how to respond to it. This, this is the equation and this is the answer. So I'm sure you guys have gone to school, right? You guys love algebra, hate algebra, but you get what I'm saying, right? You got this long equation and we have to kind of like manually figure out how to solve this equation. And sometimes the answer is not just X equals whatever. Sometimes it's an extensive answer, right? And so the same thing goes with this language model. This language model understands tons, I'm talking about within the millions, maybe even billions of information of word composition, how to structure them, how to be grammatically correct, how to understand tonality, voice, I already said grammar, right? Using punctuations where it should, like it's all code. They, the computer understands it, and that's how it puts it together. It says, my name is Edwin. Respond back with a salutation. And it's like, okay, code, this is the salutation back. Hello, Edwin. My name is Charlie. You get what I'm saying? Like, it understands how to construct it, is what I'm saying. Because it understands how a large database of information, right, given to it up until the year 2021, as of this video. Remember this video, we're looking at this uh, from, let's see, June 25th. So of course, different versions are gonna come out. And as different versions come out, the more sophisticated it gets. And that's what we're gonna talk about, okay? So you understand more or less as to what it is. It's a language-based model, database system with tons of words, and it understands how to put words together and how to answer the words in order to give it back to you. And that's how people are using it in tons of different ways. And we're going to talk about how you guys are going to use it for e-commerce. All right. Now that we got past that, let's look at how do we get to it? Is it free? Yes, it is free. But there are some that you have to pay for. Uh, when I say some, there's like a different version that you have to pay for it as far as like using it as a regular user. There is people that use it like a regular user, just like how you would use Shopify. I use Shopify as a regular user. But then there's teams like my agency that we use it as developers. And developers, we that's all techie stuff, right? In order to build things, that's where it's exciting. I'm not gonna teach you all that because that's like agency stuff. But the way that you guys are gonna use it is as a user, as a virtual assistant. This could technically replace Google in a way. So Google, as you know, let's go to Google so you can see what I mean. We're going to go to Google and we're going to type in how to ride a bike. And when we go to Google, 
if you remember back in the days, unless you're like very young, right? So back in the days when we wanted to find out something, we had to grab like this Encyclopedia Britannica of a plethora of books. And we had to like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, okay, K, that one. All right, yes, a bike or a kite or this. That was crazy, right? And then all of a sudden the internet came out and boom, Google. When we want to find out something, this is what Google does. You type in the question and it gives you, according to his algorithm ranking system, websites as to where it thinks you could find your answer. ChatGDP skips that. What it does is that it says, based on all the information from provided to me, the answer is this. There's no chasing. There's no like, oh, let me see if this is the right source or anything. I don't know. This is the answer. And that's why it's so important because it saves you time. It's not exactly Siri or you know how like you use Siri on the phone and it gives you whatever. The thing is trash. Like this thing is powerful. So you got to be careful how you use it. Okay. So that's the whole analogy. In Google, you could search for something. You have to kind of like see who's in first, second place, who got the right answer. And maybe this one got it. Or maybe I got to rephrase the question. Not in ChatGDP. You type that stuff up. And you get to see your answer right then and there. So how do we get to this platform? How do we sign up? How do we start using it? This video is just for the basics. In the future videos, we're going to talk about a little bit more complex stuff that has to do with your website, how it could help your website, and most importantly, on some good old SEO. It's been helping tremendously, let me tell you. That's what I want to educate you on. Without further ado, let's go. So the website that you guys want to go to is this one that's called openai.com. You guys might want to start there. Let me go ahead and zoom into my screen, which is super bright. Okay, let's go right here. And we're going to go to uh, openai.com. And the website might look like this. You guys could go ahead and click on the link in the description, and I'll go ahead and explain to you where the shortcut is for ChatGDP. OpenAI is the company, right? So, you know, as Google is a company, but the one who owns Google is called Alphabet. Alphabet owns Google and YouTube. OpenAI owns ChatGPT, so that you understand that, because they make a whole bunch of other products. Right here, if we go hover over where it says products, you could see the different types of products that has come out. We have the ChatGPT, the GPT-4, which is the latest version. I'm going to talk to you about that in a second. Dolly, if you guys want to learn about that, let me know in the comments. That's it so far for what I know. We're going to go to chat GPT. And then from here, that'll take you to this website. I'm going to see if I could go ahead and open this on a separate browser. Because as I log in here, it's already tied up into an account that I already run. And I don't want to do that. I want this to be like normal. Uh, let's go to chat GDP. We're already there. And let's go ahead and sign up. So when you sign up, you could go ahead and use your Google account. You could use your live account. You could continue using with Apple. Uh, for us, we're going to go ahead and see if we could use our Google account. So because it's faster, you know, or you could just use user email and address. Uh, if you guys are worried about privacy, that's something that I've spoken to with some other of my colleagues. Like if it's attached to like your Google account. Um, it could potentially read maybe things that are pertaining to your Google account. So you might be worried about that. I'm not saying that that's what it does. I'm simply saying it kind of makes you think, like, why would they want your Google account, right? So if you're thinking about privacy, maybe a good idea might be to just create a new Gmail address called research uh, artificial intelligence at gmail.com, just hypothetically, right? Uh, so that you could use that one for research purposes and that way there's nothing tracked like it does There's no history of that email attached to anything and every search that you do is fresh clean You could do that or you could do based on the convenience system, which is what I'm doing here I'm gonna go ahead and continue using uh, Google I'll sign up with the whole permission stuff and we'll catch up when we finally get to the inf interface All right, so once you go ahead and do that uh, you could set up any information here. Um, I don't know why. Oh, for the verification of the age. I don't know if you should be honest about that. To be totally honest with you, you could kind of like put your other birthday <laughs> or somewhere along your birthday. But 
I think that's a little bit sensitive information just for validation purposes. So I respect the question. It's just that you don't have to be accurate on that. Let's go ahead and proceed. So after that, it's going to obviously ask you to, uh, for another verification process, to enter your phone number, and it'll shoot out a text message to you, which you could go ahead and enter that code in there. All right, great. Once we're in, we have some choices as far as which ones I could see. If you don't see this, that's perfectly fine because uh, we've actually applied for the API, so that might have to do with that. But we're going to go ahead and continue with the chat GDP version, and that'll take us to its main interface. Uh, we have a little disclosure here. Our goal is to provide you. Yep, we're going to go ahead and press next. Uh, conversations may be reviewed by AR trainings. Yep, we're going to talk about that in a second. And don't share sensitive information based on your conversation. Uh, Optimize AI. This whole system is being optimized for dialogue, and you could share your feedback on the Discord server. So let's continue this whole thing over here on this side for you guys. And